Okay, we are here on the Gamescom and with me is... Uh, hello, I'm, I'm Kostas, I'm from Greece. We are, uh, I'm from Hidden Tower Studios, basically. And uh, we create the Theorama, World of Shipping, which is uh, a management game, economy management, basically. And you take the role of a CEO of a shipping company and you try to expand your company uh, all over the world. Okay, so then we will have a look at what you have to do. Um, this looks familiar, by the way. The interface looks somewhat similar to Transocean, which I suppose you probably know as well. Yeah, we know that Transocean. Yeah, that was a, a quite old game for, for now. So we try to make... Our goal is to, to focus only on the company side so and have way more deep in detail in management basically and economics uh, how it works because we also work with uh, real uh, shipping companies in Greece so they gave us a lot of feedback a lot of data right so yeah so this game has a lot of uh, real life uh, events and uh, works yeah so the game the purpose of the game actually is to grow the, your company all over the world uh, and doing that so you start with a ship you choose the type of the ship you want right and then you have different uh, stuff so like you can adjust uh, the speed of your ship which affects the fuel the condition of the ship uh, we have eco rating which basically the consumption and that affects also the whole company reputation so if you if your ship goes too fast which means you waste too much fuel and the eco rating goes down so you can gain good contracts and good uh, crew by that um, then you can from here you can take contracts basically all over the world and you can choose the one actually fits you in the position you can take multiple contracts also not only one and from different ports so, so you can go another port and you can see here what contracts are available uh, is that single contracts like a sim single ride or does it span a whole time span uh, wh what do you mean sorry is that uh, like a single uh, a single shipment you say okay we want to have this amount from there to there or is it multiple times is it like a, a subscription no it's it's a from for now it's one time so you take the quota and you go to the other port and, and that's it basically but we are going also to add more contracts like uh, for six months or three months period so the ship will have uh, the same route automatically right um, so here you can see the finance of your company you can see specific metrics also and you can add your own metrics you can see specific ship like the one we have right now how many i spend on salaries for each month and until now and how many gains i have um, and also here you can see in detail what the ship is doing uh, in globally you can also here it's the global economy of the game uh, you can see the contracts which area of the map actually for the bulk carriers for example so we know in Africa we have 80 percent. So that's a good area, or Asia. That's a good area to go and work your ship around those areas, right? And a lot of different stuff we keep adding. Also in the future, uh, you can hire your crew. Also for each ship, you can see here are the stars are the experience. Uh, you have different type of crew right now and we have three basic stuff first captain second captain and mechanic which those uh, are aff actually affects uh, the events of the game uh, what do they affect so what well, the effects the effect is for example the first captain is responsible when the ship is entering and exit the port uh, we have events maybe the, uh, there is a um, collapse there is some uh, major breakdown for example and that's depending the first captain experience uh, so the better the captain you have the less the chance the less the damage your ship will uh, take 
basically. Um, so in the long run, it probably always makes sense to 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 have the better captains, or can you have cheap repairs also, and then you don't care? Basically, you care a lot. Basically, but to to access a better captain, five star captain, four star captain, that means your that means your reputation also should be high. So you take better CVs as long you have better. So your reputation is uh, is going up by completing contracts in uh, specific time and under the time the game is given to you to complete. So yeah. So then you can go and buy new ships, basically that new type of ships. You can take used ships also, uh, which other companies uh, are sold. Um, the thing with used ships is they have limited uh, age, so each ship have around 20 years. So after that, you have to renew your fleet. Yeah. Uh, How long is 30 years in real time? So in game, in each day, last uh, around 30 seconds. And if you go to go, if you want to speed, go around six seconds. So we have different modes. If you go, yeah. Uh, and also we have global events. We have war strikes on ports. We have uh, pandemics or some events happen to different countries, which affect the whole economy of each port in each country, basically. So all contracts, price of the ship, uh, yeah, all basically change all the time. Okay, so when we just start for typical typical things that you do at the start, what do we begin with? Yeah, so now we went, we we hired those three people, some basic, basically first come, second mechanic. That's the first thing we, we need to do. Then we um, we went, we have to take some contracts. So for now, I have already taken those three contracts here. You can see. So, for example, the second, uh, the first contract will be delivered in 21 days, which is fine because it expired in 51. But then the second contract, it's also fine. But the third contract will deliver 88 days, but will expire 36, which that's quite bad, basically, for our reputation. We're gonna take a penalty. Yeah, we will be unable. There's no chance to fulfill that contract. Yeah. So even if I look now, if I go fast, as fast as the ship can go, will go down to 74 days. So I definitely get a penalty for that contract. So you have also to be very, uh, you have to basically watch out which contracts you are going to get. The order of the contract makes absolute sense here. It's very crucial. And then you can go and start, basically say the ship to start working. So now the ship is already sailed from our port. That's a fast. You can also observe the ship if you are going here. You can see what's actually happened to the ship. And we also we are going to add more modes like uh, to see inside the cabin and to see the people working the ship in the future. Uh, we have real uh, net night and day effects, uh, raining, which affect also the speed of the ship. Maybe you are even able to, to steer it yourself? Yeah, it's automatically. So that's, for example, we want to... We, we didn't want to make the player uh, control the ship because we want to focus only on the CEO, on the management game. We didn't want to... Uh, mixed up too many different genders of the game on the same one. We want to be quite clear what's going on and what you have to do. Don't you ha still have to do a lot of micromanagement when you accept all the individual contracts? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of micromanagement and we are going to add a lot of also management uh, later on of the few months of development left. Uh, so I don't think the player is going to have time to drive any ship or whatever. Uh, so yeah, th that's your main goal, right? To make your company quite grow. And in the final version, we're going to have also around 20 companies as AI 
to compete and also a multiplayer but not um, the multiplayer also gonna have a more more unique so it's not like you have four people competing each other there is a global server with all the economy will be there and every player that's entered in that area in that multiplayer gonna add to the universal economy basically so you have uh, like a mass multiplayer online game so the they play it's uh, single player the main mode right the multiplayer is something we are gonna add in the future uh, I mean we know not very people are keen of multiplayer in that game of genre right now but uh, yeah we'll see how that will go so one of the events as you said is probably the weather we have there are some display about so here you can see the areas so if your ship is going through that area gonna trigger some might trigger some effects also the speed go slow down also and if you overview it you can see actual it's raining or it's very bad weather and you can see it how yeah how it's affected so we better have a good weather forecast that we avoid that yeah 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 so that's um, then you can also have a choice you can evade that area but I mean, your your distance will be way longer, so you're gonna spend a lot more fuel, long more stuff. Yeah. Maybe we speed that up again so that we can see what happens when the ship arrives. It will, after all, it'll still take a few days. And uh, so the next step would probably to buy. Then, then after that, oh, what's that difficult? Is there reported with transporting cargo to the port of Cartagena? I was so too slow. Some global event happened now in, in one of the ports and say that if you go to that port, uh, oh, here has also started a war in Adyen. So, yeah, also there's some war happening, some ports. So it's mixed up. And uh, we think it's, uh, it's like uh, what actually happened in the world. So you don't really know what's going on in the next days or next month. So, yeah. But uh, we can probably see a certain likelihood, like it's uh, less likely that there's a uh, war in, 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 let's say, Europe compared to Africa. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the wars can be anywhere in the world and which country can be fighting another country. That will affect the whole economy of the country, the whole port. Some ports can be closed, for example, and you don't have access to them at all. Uh, yeah. Okay, I see. Now our ship arrived, and now what happened? So now it's arrived in, in that port. Now it's a state of unloading uh, the previous contract, and we are going. We'll be loading the next one to go to. The, that's the next uh, contract we have to go, basically. And it's already get paid. I mean, that kind of contract was wasn't the best one because the money we get was quite few. Basically, it wasn't enough but yeah I mean that's the choice is the player has to make if something worth it or not okay I see and um, yeah thus we basically continue until we have more ships and uh, then we have uh, more more contracts to deliver and even more ships yeah exactly we're gonna have around 20 different ships right now and there is uh, as your reputation goes up new companies approach you uh, will unlock new type type of contracts, uh, more money, uh, but it's really depending what your game style and uh, how your company is, is doing uh, in the reputation. That's the key factor of the game. How good are you, basically? Yeah. Okay, so in the beginning, I already said a lot of the game reminds me of uh, Transocean, and you said differences are basically that there's more f more focus on. Uh, on managing your economy or your company's ec economy. Um, the, global econ the global economy also we have in the background, all the events are happening, yeah. Like, do you influence global economy with, uh, like, are companies, are, are countries doing better that you are working in? Um, not really. Uh, basically, if you, it, it's really depending, basically, it, it affects a small percentage of the port. So if you keep working basically in, in, in one area, that port can be upgraded, as we can see here. Gonna be basically better storage, better shipping slots. 
so the, you can get fuel discount also for a specific port if you go there all over the time. Um, but that's that's quite it because you, I mean, one command can affect the, the whole global economy, right? I mean, that will be quite unrealistic. Well, thanks to the advancements of computer games, maybe they can. Uh, uh, for now, I don't think so, but yeah, if you say so. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's um, we we try to make it as realistic as can be, basically how a real company works right now. Okay, and thank you very much for the insight in your new game. And when do you think on uh, releasing? So the release will be around Q2 of 23, basically. And we started with uh, Steam. It's already on wishlist right now. And we are going also for Xbox and Switch for this game. Okay, and uh, thank you very much for your time. And the final question is, of course, may we publish this interview and the recorded gameplay? Yeah, yeah, okay. Thank you very much. <laughs>